This video is about my experience in China, first visiting and applying for funding, and then the two successful research exchanges that emerged. This is me, an early career researcher fresh out of a PhD at Sheffield, working in the field of biomaterials and 3D printing. I was excited when the opportunity first came up to apply for the workshop in China. We travelled to Chengdu, where we got the chance to meet a cohort of Chinese early career researchers. We then got the chance to apply for research funding. I applied for two of these and received both research exchanges. The first was for me to travel to Beijing, China, where I met my host researcher, Dr. Xu Ri, and her group. I worked in the Beijing Academy of Sciences Nano Energy and Nano Systems Building with Professor Li Zhao and his labs. The research we began here has grown to be a larger project we are hoping to publish on soon. We then had the opportunity to receive a researcher from Chengdu, Wulipu, came to stay for a month here, and we combined the expertise from both of our labs to begin a completely new research activity. This whole experience has been amazing for me. Not only have I got to travel to China and build collaborations with academics there, but it has also given me the experience writing grants, thinking up new research ideas, becoming more independent and more responsible for producing research outcomes. The chance that Medi Innovations has given us to go and do something like this is incredible, and something that is not seen in other consortiums. Finally, here is a brief comment from our Sheffield research leader, Professor Paul Hatton. So, I mean, what a remarkable opportunity to actually get to visit China and Chinese collaborators as a relatively young postdoctoral researcher, an early career researcher. Uh, and I've seen tremendous changes in Tom since his return from that visit. It's, as far as I know, a unique scheme in the UK. And we already have two new international collaborations as a direct result of his visit to Chinese collaborators.